Well, well, well. We're headed to Southern California. We're gonna go see our friends down at Front Runner. This should be our first time going to their showroom headquarters, and we're gonna to get to hang out at their warehouse. They called us up and said, hey, we've got a new product coming out for the Gladiator. We think it's perfect for you guys. We'd like you to come down so that you can get it installed and we can have fun, throw a party, have a fiesta. We're gonna take you guys along on the next week. We're gonna be traveling to some awesome places like the Redwoods. We're gonna travel the California coast. We're gonna to get to go down to LA. Probably gonna spend some time in a couple Airbnbs because unfortunately, the first step is gonna be removing this rack. We gotta take this rack off. We can't take a tent with us. We're gonna go down pretty bare, but uh, she might be naked on the way down. I'm thinking on the way back up, she's gonna be a little less naked. We're doing it as a family and we're doing it over spring break. So we're gonna get to take the boys with us and have a ton of fun. Amanda and I, a little piece. Amanda and I's first ever road trip together was to San Diego. And we drove all the way down the 101 in a rental car. Really appreciate you guys watching. Head down below, hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you in California. So it is 6.30 a.m. on March 30th of 2024. It's officially day zero, mile zero of spring break 2024. Let's get the uh, last couple of things thrown in the truck. We are headed to Crescent City, California today. We're gonna go visit the Redwoods. So come along with us. Let's go see some really big trees. Made to California. Been a long day. Uh, most everybody else in the car slept most of the day. Been a good drive. Told, we've only had raindrops a couple of times. Piece of cake, I'll take it. Came down to get dinner here at the harbor. We're going to the chart room here in uh, Crescent, California. There's a bunch of uh, sea life out here. I'm not a marine biologist, but I think they're sea lions. Happy Easter. It is Easter day here in Crescent City, California. I had the fish and chips. <laughs> I had about an hour, an hour and a half in the middle of the night where I had to get up and just hang out because I couldn't sleep and I was sweating and nauseated. And I set an alarm to be up really early this morning because I wanted to go catch sunrise, but unfortunately, that wasn't gonna happen. I turned it off at 1.30 in the morning because I knew, don't wake me up at five, I don't wanna do it. So, we're way behind schedule as far as what I was planning on, but that's okay. We're gonna go get Amanda a coffee, I'm probably gonna get a decaf something, and then we will go and see some redwoods. place is just wild um, I mean I've been here before so I remember but they're big every time it's, it's crazy to see the size of these trees I'm excited that the boys get to see them pretty much for the first time now we got some lunch out of the way in Crescent City we saw a billboard for Trees of Mystery, which is 14 miles south of Crested City on 101. Apparently we're gonna go 100 feet up in the air and climb around on a sky bridge. 
and then we're going to ride a gondola, both of which not things I'm fond of. I am definitely afraid of heights. So let's go do it. I'm not tall enough. I have to be 36 inches. Are you gonna hate me if I bounce it? Oh! Are you yeah. gonna be that person it's that funny, has to it's go funny back till, the It's funny until I puke. <laughs> oh my gosh. I would give anything to be able to make the sound of something ripping. Hey, we have an even longer one. I wonder why there's a maximum number of people allowed on the bridge at a time. Oh. Uh, okay. I'm good. I'm good. It shakes. You can't help it. It shakes. Glad I did it. Uh, did not make me comfortable. I was sweating the whole time. Well, that's a wrap for Crescent City. We had a total blast at the Lighthouse Inn. We got to see the lighthouse itself at Crescent City. That was an awesome little nightcap. We got to go get, catch sunset. Pretty beautiful time. Now we head on down the road, southbound and down on the 101. morning from sunny Monterey, California. Hey. Today we get to go where? We're gonna go to the Monterey Aquarium. Which is why I'm wearing my fish shirt. It's a Blending. it's an aquarium shirt day. Then we're gonna find me some sandals. I came all the way to California, didn't bring any sandals. Been trying to tell him to get Birkenstocks for a few years now. It's a mistake. I have a mental block spending $140 on a pair of sandals. I have Famous to be like footwear in, has in them the for way cheaper. Okay, either way, over a hundred bucks for a pair of sandals seems like a lot. Yeah. So they last a long time, and mine, mine are hiking Burks. I am officially turning into my parents. That's what that means, because my parents wore Birkenstocks. <laughs> Birkenstocks were big in Seattle in the mm -hmm. '90s. But so we will catch you guys yeah. down the road. It's time for breakfast. Let's get coffee. <laughs> to Pismo Beach. I think we're probably gonna get something to eat before we make it there because I think we're about uh, two hours out of Pismo Beach and we are hungry. After a long day's drive, there are worse ways to spend an afternoon.
so we made it down to the beach we got to drive onto Pismo Beach we had to pay five bucks it's really cool any place you can drive on the beach I absolutely love it we're very excited to get down to LA today it should be fun but for now we're just gonna enjoy hanging out having the truck on the beach so unfortunately YouTube and Google ad revenue doesn't pay very much so for us to be able to bring these adventures and afford them we have to take on sponsors we really appreciate your guys understanding of that and in that vein this video is brought to you by Midland radios Midland radios is something that we have used for over a year now we would never ever recommend something that we didn't totally believe in Midland Radios has some pretty exciting news. They're bringing the GXT67 to market. This is a brand new radio, has super long battery life, five watts of power, is repeater capable, and is totally waterproof. So we're super excited about it. We've gotten to test it out before everybody else got it, and we think that you would really love it too. All right, well, we are about an hour out of LA. The sun is shining. It's really green. It's looking super very tropical. green. Yeah. It's looking very tropical. Here. Palm trees. What are you drinking? Vanilla milkshake. From In and Out. I've seen it until we were in the heart of it. Right down here in LA County, right from the source. Man, it was worth the wait. We had a very like unassuming afternoon. We showed up at the hotel. I napped for a while. The boys went and played in the pool. Amanda went with them. And then luckily we just figured out that our hotel is only five minutes away from the Front Runner headquarters. It's like traffic. the person who made the reservation knew what she was doing. I don't know. Maybe looked into that? Oh, she's a smarty pants. Okay. She's way smarter than I am. But yeah, we're, we're having fun. Been a relaxing time in LA so far. It's definitely going to be a little more intensive tomorrow, so uh, fasten your seatbelts. Today we head to Front Runner. We're going to go get a new product installed. We'll show you guys what it is when we're there. It's pretty rad. I think you're going to like it. We're going to go hit the donut shop because you can't show up at an office. I've never worked in an office, to be fair, <laughs> but I think you can't show up at an office without a donut offering. up at front runner got the new rack on it looks amazing big ups to the front runner team uh, this is the first this is the first ever time that we have had anything installed on the truck oh, yeah other than tires yeah that's it everything else on the truck I installed with my own two hands yes Patrick was a, a professional technician for 18 years so uh, that is that's a big reason why we've been able to afford the lifestyle because he's able to do majority of the work obviously he needs my guidance when he's Emotional doing support. it hundred I mean who else is gonna make him a sandwich but it was kind of nice to just get to sit back and let them install it and such a cool team all of them are such nice people uh, well and super, super passionate pleasant. about the, the super passionate about the product and the lifestyle like mm -hmm. those every truck that we saw in the parking lot has front runner stuff on it and they all go out they have like company gigs where they go out and camp together they're all like active in this lifestyle and that's kind of rare the new pro bed rack first time that front runners ever had a cab height rack which is a huge benefit huge benefit you get tons more room in the bed you can get your tent and that kind of stuff up and out of the way. You also get the benefit of they have wolf packs now on the side. So you can have, you know, stuff stashed on the side. On the driver's side or the left side of the truck, we put one of their water tanks, which 
if you've noticed in our in the past we ran one of their water tanks on the roof of the cab the only problem we found with that system it was really nice to have that as like a sink but the problem is getting water up to it is kind of a pain in the butt it's a challenge this system that's on the side way better because we can literally just like at eye level fill it we don't have to climb a ladder to go fill it with water and the boys will be able to use it a lot easier totally than the one that was on the roof yes and in in lieu of the water tank being on the roof we now have two fuel cans and now we have what 14, we have almost a, an entire second gas tank. That's right, because we have the two roto packs That's that are on the doors. Yeah, so we have 14 gallons, which is yeah. dang near a whole tank in this rig, because the tank's really small. And then we did the molly panels for the threshold between the bed and the cab. So now we have two more molly panels that are built into the front of the bed that we can you know, use to mount whatever kind of accessories we come up with. And then we put, on the left side, we put uh, two accessory rails that'll allow us to mount like our ax and our shovel, which seem to always be with us, but they're always just floating. They're, they're everywhere. Uh, so this will be nice to have them have a place, have a home. We have another slimline too, that is now mounted to the top of the bed rack. So yes, we have, we have all the functionality of the slimline too, with all of its accessories, and capabilities on the back now. Um, so we can mount a tent or whatever other, you know, if we were gonna not mount a tent, which I know we are, we're gonna mount one, but if we weren't, we could have a whole slew of other accessories back there. Okay, so that about does, that does it. Let's go to Santa Monica, let's go check out the pier. northbound on the 405 We've got two stops for today poppy fields apparently they're popping next we're headed to alabama hills we decided to take the eastern route home since we took the coast down let's do it let's get down the road let's go see some poppies popping and then we'll see where we're going from there Lone Pine and uh, we started to head out you go out Whitney Portal Road and they ended up having a closure so we had to go a different way than what we were planning on um, but it was still really cool it's still really pretty we have all of the pretty mountains back there boys are back there somewhere climbing around on the rocks and that's a it's, it's special to me because I grew up coming out here uh, fun fact, I climbed Mount Whitney when I was 12, so uh, this place holds a special place in my heart and getting to share that with the family is huge for me. We're going to try and get some pictures and stuff before it's totally dark. This place is just so pretty. It's wild. So We're parked on the side of the road, well a gravel road. I don't really know where we're parked. We parked, we parked here in the dark. Is Mount Whitney right there? Yeah. It's like the, the big one. We were on Whitney Portal Road that takes you up to the Mount Whitney trailhead. Okay. 
There's some people in a Jeep that flashed us with their lights multiple times. I'm it assuming was. it's a Jeep. It was unnecessary. They kept like there, turning I on almost, and off. I almost flashed them to just be like, hi. Oh, do you want to see <laughs> what lights are? Good morning. We have some that are bright. Good morning. Uh, yep, we're just uh, hurrying up and waiting. Yep. Watch the sun slowly rise. Oh, there's another person. Hi, guys. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the party. It is a Jeep up there. Okay. Well, we'll show you guys sunrise. <laughs> Pretty good. Pretty good. Bread's pretty good in there. Walk yeah, we, out. we got lunch. Yeah, got a massive bag. What did you get, Grant? A lemon filled donut. Mm. Bakery was fantastic. I Amanda didn't tell me that they're Dutch. If I would have known that going in, I would have insisted as strongly as she did. <laughs> Uh, we're gonna call it a wraps right here. We're gonna close this out. We're gonna end on a high note. We're gonna end on a sugar high note. Yeah, we're gonna end on a sugar high note. Uh, we really appreciate you guys watching. As always, please head down below and hit that subscribe button. We would really appreciate it. And if you're in the area, come stop by the bakery. You will not be disappointed. Thanks so much, guys. See you next time.